All right, here we go. Yes. Huh? Are you sure about this, Kazuya? You're a good person and still pretty young for a human. You might still meet lots of wonderful people in the future. Echo, you have confidence in yourself, right? My future isn't something I'm worried about right now. I'm doing this because I decided I like who you are. Kazuya, you're misunderstanding something. This form isn't the real me. You know that, don't you? This form before you is also who I am. This thing! I'm not bothered by it. I like that form too, Echo. Ooh! I mean, did you think I hated that form? I guess I was a bit panicked by it at first. But haven't we gone past that kind of prejudice through all the conversations we've had? The fact that you're always worrying about me. The fact that you want to keep me to yourself. All those kinds of things together are what I love about you, Echo. Echo quietly sinks into the water up to her neck. Almost like she's trying to cool herself off. Thank you, Kazuya. I'm actually really happy. I want to be with you forever as well. Like a human couple, if possible. But if you say things like that to a demon like me, he's only just learned how to get someone to fall for them. I might just end up attacking you. I accept your proposal, and of course the ring too. Just give me a little time to cool off. Hmm. <clears throat> Good. That's all the items Lucy asked for. Huh? Hey, Echo? She was with me just a few moments ago. Where did she go? Ah, she has a human form. <laughs> well, what's wrong, Echo? You stopped walking all of a sudden. She's looking at the wedding dress, can't you tell? Could it be you want it? That wedding dress? <laughs> That's a yes! Echo shakes her head and points to herself and Kazuya. That's right. We're married as humans. Want to hold hands? So you don't get lost. Hmm. Echo's current human form exists thanks to Doc Professor Yui's in invention. A medical drink. A medicinal drink. In exchange for freely walking on the ground with human feet, she has to concentrate her magic on her legs, so she cannot speak at all. <laughs> Just like in The Little Mermaid, of course. <laughs> the effect lasts for about 12 hours. According to the professor, it's still in the trial stage. She, it seems she wants to eventually make it so there are no side effects on her voice. Gaining legs while losing your voice. It's like the fairy tale The Little Mermaid, but given how it ends... I can't tell her that. Oh, just FYI, the original story of the Little Mermaid. Uh, the mermaid dies and turns into sea foam. So, yeah, it's not the Disney ending. <laughs> I 
because that ending is what she herself wants to avoid the most. Oh yes, you're good at this. Don't panic, don't cut your fingers, slowly. Oh, Kazuya-sama, welcome back. Echo, having another cooking lesson with Lucy, huh? She's doing a good job. She also learns quickly and is quite dexterous with her fingers. She's still doing her best to help cut the ingredients, but at this pace, it won't be long before she can be taught cooking proper. <laughs> Learning looks like such fun, and I have fun teaching her as well. Say, if that unreasonable snake were as docile as this, then... Echo, please continue cutting the ingredients just like that. I will instruct my disobedient snake student. Uh. Kazuya, sorry about today. I used the mess and even though there was nothing important going on. Is it expensive? W well, when it comes to the price, the, the, that's right. It's not cheap. But drinking it only when we're short on people for a job. That would be a waste of those legs you wanted for so long, don't you think? Besides, shopping around the city today, it was kind of like a date. It made me happy. Date? Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, Echo! <laughs> You're a very bad person. Pleasing me with such casual word remarks. But, I'm also good at pleasing you. Ah! Echo! Oh! <laughs> Kazuya, the prince I caught. I will never let you go anymore. As long as my voice reaches you, stay with me forever. Kazuya. Do you really want to propose to her? Yes. I accept! Just like that? Huh? I don't have any reason to say no. Didn't I tell you I took this form so I could love a human? Besides, you're the first opponent to, and you've seen me cry and do all sorts of embarrassing stuff. Even if you had to pick me, I'd probably still tag along with you! Uh, uh. Oh, but wait a sec. If we're going to get engaged, does that mean you'll be living together in the human realm? I've got to practice turning into a human. Can't really pull that off. I can't even put up a boundary properly. At the very least, you got enough magic power to turn fields into forests. Yeah, that's right! How about this? If need be, I can make myself uh, into like a big figurine in the corner of the room, not moving a muscle! It's even more shady for someone to have a figurine in their house with a big swag breast. Well, let's think about that later. For now, thanks for accepting the ring. I love you, Sphinx. <laughs> Come on! What are you saying all of a sudden? You don't have to say such obvious things! Oh, but instead of that, are you ready for your daily milking? 
Among demons, magical breasts are especially greedy for energy. Or magical beasts are especially greedy, greedy for energy. I won't let you go till I'm satisfied. Don't, don't suck up too much knowledge. I won't be able to take care of you. Oh, here's the after scene with Sphinx. I'm bored! <laughs> it's been so long since you've come down from up there, and that's the first thing you say? Because Kazuya goes to do jobs in the morning. It's boring playing games by myself. Ah! What if we play together, Nina-chan? Let's play Fall in 66 together! <laughs> Fall in 66? We represent but are legally distinct from <laughs> Fallout. <laughs> I have to run the reception desk for the office, so I can't play with you during the day. Besides, you can't plug in the console here. The customer could come. I see. I want Lucy San to watch me practice my shape shifting, but she's in the middle of Tatano cheese <laughs> special train. Did you perfect the method on your hands just so you could use them to play games? I guess your first rate magic power alone really lets you learn quickly, huh? If you practice all of it properly like that, I don't think you'll have much trouble with your whole body. Oh, Kazuya! Welcome back! Kazuya! Welcome back! I was waiting for you! Sphinx? Why did you come down? Uh, what's wrong? Should I not have come down? Are you telling me I gotta stay cramped up in that room all the time? That's not it, but at least not now. It's dangerous! Oh, did you bring your customer today, Kazuya? I'm empty. No, no, it's fine. I won't stay that long. Listen, can you stay completely still? If he finds out there's such a huge demon here, he'll definitely get scared. G got it! <laughs> and so they are going with it. I'll just be a statue with a corner plan. I thought they, re <laughs> I thought they rejected that idea. <laughs> Did you say something, Kazuya Dono? Uh, n no, nothing. Oh, isn't that figure Sphinx? Uh, oh, that that that's right. It's well made, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's certainly well made. Feels as if it were alive. <laughs> the exposed part is also generously reproduced. Does that mean it's not a commonly sold product? It, it, it's custom made. Besides, it's different from the Egyptian one you're researching. This one's hair of sphinx. Oh my! Then it's the one that is said to have been enshrined in Mount uh, Physeum, Vice that one? Certainly, if you ask me, the dignified features unique to a chimera are accurately uh, expressed by emphasizing each part. In addition to strength, you can also see a cute side that misleads the opponent. It has well-defined facial features that allow you to glean a lot of information from them. <laughs> but on the other hand, it does not look wise enough to be capable of solving a riddle. How should I put it? I mean, that face looks far too stupid. <laughs> Well, anyways, 
Shall we continue our conversation from before? Oh, excuse me. It's just that uh, uh, it is one of the subjects I'm studying. So, about the incident that occurred in Egypt. tired today. Kazuya, what was with that old man? I couldn't relax because he kept looking in my direction the entire time. He is an archaeologist from Egypt. It seems he is currently excavating the ruins around the pyramids. In the end, I didn't accept the job because it was unlikely that MOW was involved. Hey, Kazuya. Do I really look that stupid? Do you, do you want an honest answer to that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you didn't have to answer immediately! After all, you're not really good at solving riddles. Or than the usual riddle, they're really only at the level of a grade schooler. You even threw out that new horror game because you didn't understand the puzzles. And that's because if the key to solving the puzzle is in the same room, I'd get completely lost. Besides, it doesn't really need to write everything in that weird, hard to understand, commanding tone just because it's in a historical setting. But that's the puzzle. <laughs> Gah! Well, whatever! Even if I'm an idiot! It, it's okay. I mean, I'm okay. You, stop flying into the bed! <laughs> is, it, is that really how you feel? Don't you like being crushed forcefully like this? Your body is more honest. Look, the boo bombardment is coming. There! <laughs> Kazia, it's fine. I'm happy as I am now because I get to be loved by you. I have a partner to spend time together with. That's what I wanted in this form. I don't care about having a stupid face. It's gotten pretty cold today. Why not use me as a futon? It'll feel fluffy and pleasant. W wait I haven't got taken a bath yet before going to bed. Sphinx? Hmm. Yeah. She sure fell asleep fast. Mm, Kazia. I'm happy too, Sphinx. I feel better just having you with me. I love you. Mm. <laughs> 